Hi, here I am recording the day before you'll get to see the week two lecture. So sorry if this isn't captioned right away. Um, I just wanted to catch up a little bit given what happened last week and where we're heading this week. This week, we're going to be looking at network models, which is quite different from what we were doing last week. Last week was all applied looking at concrete real world networks. And I'll be explaining actually in the lectures why network models are important. There will be three sections. In the first section, we'll be talking about erdos renyi random graphs, which are just completely random um, graphs. And this gets a little bit technical and, and maybe a little bit dry. Um, in the middle section, we'll be looking at the limitations of such a purely random uh, model. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, looking at simulations of um, different types of network models and comparing their properties. So if you're the kind of student who is only um, kind of browsing the lectures and you just like to build some intuition, the second part is the one that I think you're going to get the most out of because it's applied, you're um, uh, you know, moving different sliders around, seeing how the network reacts, seeing um, different formation structures. So I think that's going to be um, kind of good for intuition. And then the third part is going to look at a different model from Erdos Renyi. It's going to look at preferential attachment models, which are very important in modeling many real world networks that have hubs, that is highly connected nodes. So that's the layout of the of the lectures. Um, this week, actually, the assignment is, it's almost um, a part of um, the lecture itself. When I taught this course at the University of Michigan, um, the format was that we would have a lecture uh, one day a week and then the lab another day. And so the lab was really an integral part. And this week, the Assignment has to do with what happens when you actually have something diffusing. It could be information, it could be a virus, on a network that conforms to one of these models. And so I think that doing the assignment, even if you don't submit the assignment, but you know, why, why wouldn't you if you're doing it already, um, is going to be um, that you would get a lot out of it because you see why the network structure matters. It matters because once uh, the network actually has to do something, for example, pass on messages, the structure itself um, you know, will dictate how that happens. So I hope you will attempt the assignment. Um, finally, for those of you doing the programming option, first of all, all the programming option means is that if you also get 80% on the optional programming assignments, um, your certificate will say that you've completed the course with the programming option. Um, this week's assignment is very lightweight. You'll just be modifying um, these NetLogo models to get a few additional, um, you know, little interesting tidbits out of them. Um, but I'm also going to be posting the kind of the project assignment for the class, which will be due, um, okay, I'll, I'll figure it out in a sec, but you know, four or five weeks from now, so it won't be the very end of the course, but a little bit before, because the way that these this uh, project assignment will work, well, first of all, you have a choice between analyzing a real world network, uh, building a model of network formation, or um, constructing some sort of algorithm to um, to figure something out on a network. Um, and so you will be submitting these, and of course with so many students in the class, there's no way that uh, I or uh, my uh, teaching assistants would be able to actually grade your assignment. So the, the, this programming assignment uh, or project will be peer graded, which means you will grade each other's work. And what I plan to do is then for very highly rated assignments, um, I will review them or my teaching staff will review them and then we will discuss some of them actually as part of the lecture in the last week. So um, we, we do kind of have to follow a schedule such that all of that will happen and I hope you'll check out the, the details for that assignment. And you know if you if you are in the meantime doing your project and you'd like to show off or, or you know you want to share your work whether or not it's selected um, there's the online forum and uh, there's the let's do SNA subforum so please do 
um, you know, post in there. We're not saying like, if we don't select your work, it's, you know, it's not worthy of others' attention. So I hope that we can kind of build a community where we're all sharing uh, our little network projects and what we're passionate about. Um, so uh, that's it. On the technical side, I hope that this week will um, be a little bit smoother sailing. For NetLogo, um, uh, the NetLogo team at Northwestern has given us a new JAR file so the um, simulations should work more smoothly in the browser. If they don't, all you do is you download the NetLogo desktop application, you load in the model, and it's going to work for sure. <laughs> I, I can almost guarantee it. So that's uh, the alternative there. We won't be using Gephi this week, so if you're still struggling with getting that uh, to work, you have a little bit of extra buffer, and I hope that we can help you with that. Um, so with that, uh, please do enjoy week two, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow or whenever you choose to watch this. Okay, thanks.